He introduced the fine structure constant as well as two of the four quantum numbers and was nominated a record-breaking 84 times for a Nobel. And yet, the prize escaped him. Here are 10 facts about the great mentor and pioneer of quantum mechanics, Mr. Arnold Sommerfeld. 1. Birth and Early Life Born on December 5, 1868 in Konigsberg, Prussia, which is now Kaliningrad, Russia, Arnold Johannes Wilhelm Sommerfeld came into a family that was fairly established in the city, dating back to 1822 from his grandfather settling there. Arnold was introduced to grief early on when he was about 12 years old. His sister, Margaretha, passed away at the age of 10 in 1880 of scarlet fever. In these younger years, Arnold recalled that he was interested more in literature and history, perhaps, than in the exact sciences. And he also showed skill as an artist, as shown from this portrait here. 2. School and Military Years In about 1887, Summerfield would enroll into the University of Konigsberg, and though math was his main course, his classes were very diversified, having a wide variety of interest in philosophy, natural sciences, and economics. He would study under such teachers as Hurwitz and Lindemann, but it was in particular a course given by David Hilbert which led Arnold towards the direction of pure mathematics as a focus. It was during this time at the University of Konigsberg that Sommerfeld would acquire the prominent scar on his forehead from a fencing duel. After receiving his teaching degree in 1892, Sommerfeld would have a year of service in military, followed by voluntary training for eight weeks of the year in the reserves for a total span of eight years until he was about 32 years of age. And it is said of his time in the military, he did quite enjoy it. 3. Sommerfeld Atomic Model Sommerfeld's atomic model, developed between 1914 and 1916, was a significant extension of the Bohr model, aiming to address its limitations. Sommerfeld introduced elliptical orbits and incorporated the concept of azimuthal quantum numbers, which aimed to describe the shape of electron orbitals, allowing for more accurate predictions of spectral lines in complex atoms. He also introduced the magnetic quantum number, which describes the orientation of an electron's orbital within an atomic subshell. His theoretical work would later help lead to the discovery of electron spin, Sommerfeld's model also considered relativistic effects, particularly in high atomic number elements, leading to a more comprehensive understanding of the behavior of electrons within an atom. While later superseded by more advanced quantum models, Sommerfeld's contributions marked the crucial step toward the development of quantum mechanics, providing insights into the complexities of atomic structure and spectral phenomena. 4. The Fine Structure Constant In 1916, Sommerfeld introduced the Fine Structure Constant, also known as the Sommerfeld Constant, as a crucial element in his quantum theory of the atom. This constant, denoted as alpha, characterizes the strength of electromagnetic interactions within the quantum system. Sommerfeld's work on the fine structure of spectral lines led to the identification of this dimensionless constant emphasizing its significance in understanding the intricate behavior of electrons within an atom. The fine structure constant is a fundamental parameter in physics, influencing the fine details of spectral lines and serving as a key factor in the description of electromagnetic interactions at the quantum level. Its approximate value is 1 over 137, reflecting the delicate balance of forces governing the behavior of particles in the microcosmic realm. 5. Theory of Metals Sommerfeld's Theory of Metals, presented in a series of papers published between 1927 and 1928, played a crucial role in advancing the understanding of the electronic behavior of metals. Sommerfeld introduced a model that described metals as a lattice of positively charged particles embedded in a sea of free electrons. This free electron model successfully explained various phenomena such as electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, and specific heat of metals. For practical purposes, 
this theory became instrumental in the design and engineering of electronic devices and materials. It laid the foundation for understanding and predicting the electrical and thermal properties of metals, contributing significantly to the development of technologies relying on metals from electrical wiring to electronic components. Sommerfeld's work on the theory of metals not only deepened the theoretical understanding of condensed matter physics, but also had a lasting impact on the practical applications of materials in various technological domains. 6. Johanna and Family While Arnold was a private docent at Göttingen, he met a certain woman who happened to be the daughter of the university's curator named Johanna Herpner. The two started their relationship about the spring of 1896, and just over a year later, the two would marry in a double wedding ceremony, along with Johanna's sister, Helena, on December 27, 1897. Johanna and Arnold would have four children, three sons and one daughter. 7. World Traveler In 1928, Sommerfeld embarked on a world tour where he placed himself as a bit of an ambassador of his home country of Germany and its science upon the world stage. His first stop would be traveling east through the Suez Canal to India. There he met with Chandra Sakara Raman, who discovered what would be known as the Raman effect, which is the scattering of light with atoms. This was done the same year as Sommerfeld's tour, and Raman would end up winning a Nobel Prize just two years later in 1930. From India, he would continue east to Singapore and the Philippines to Shanghai and then to Japan, where he stayed for three weeks, giving a series of lectures on atomic physics. One such listener was a young Shinichiro Tomogura, who would later go on to win a Nobel in 1965 for his work on quantum electrodynamics. From Japan, Sommerfeld headed across the Pacific to Pasadena, California. He would finish his world trip with a three-month stay in the United States, traveling across the country and giving various lectures before heading back home to Germany. 8. 84 Times Arnold Sommerfeld's remarkable contributions to theoretical physics were widely acknowledged during his lifetime, earning him great respect among his peers. Despite his significant influence on the field, it remains puzzling that he never received a Nobel Prize. Sommerfeld was nominated an astonishing 84 times for the prestigious award, a testament to the esteem in which his colleagues held him. The Nobel's committee decision not to award him the prize has been a subject of historical curiosity and debate. Some attribute it to the subtle nature of his contributions or perhaps the lack of a single groundbreaking discovery that often characterizes Nobel laureates. Regardless, Sommerfeld's impact on the development of quantum theory and his influence on the subsequent generations of physicists stand as a testament to his enduring legacy, Nobel Prize notwithstanding. 9. The Instructor Sommerfeld's influence as a mentor and teacher in theoretical physics is shown by the impressive number of notable physicists he guided. Four of his students, Werner Heisenberg, Wolfgang Pauli, Peter Debye and Hans Bethe all went on to receive Nobel Prizes for their personal contributions to their fields. Sommerfeld's teaching and guidance played a pivotal role in shaping the intellectual development of these future Nobel laureates. Einstein would say in a letter to Sommerfeld that, What I especially admire about you is that you have, as it were, pounded out of the soil such a large number of young talents. Sommerfeld's Research Institute at the University of Munich attracted aspiring physicists from around the world, creating an environment conducive to scientific innovation. Some other notables among his students are Rudolf Piles, Paul Peter Ewald, Alfred Lande, Isidore Ravi, and Max von Lau, to name a few. Sommerfeld was known for his openness with his students and always desired them to engage in discourse meeting them before and after lectures, and often their ideas and thoughts would affect Sommerfeld's own views on physics. 10. Death and Legacy Arnold Sommerfeld passed away on April 26, 1951. At the age of 82, though he did not pass away from natural causes, Morris Klein, an American mathematician, wrote of Sommerfeld's death, saying, 
Somewhat deaf in his old age, he failed to hear a warning and was struck by a truck in the spring of 1951. He died of the injuries two months later. Sommerfeld happened to be walking with his grandchildren when the tragedy took place. Sommerfeld left behind a great legacy in theoretical physics. His death marked the end of an era characterized by his contributions to quantum theory and wave mechanics. His work not only refined existing models, but also paved the way for the development of modern physics. His teachings at the University of Munich and mentorship of prominent physicists, including Nobel laureates, solidified his impact on the scientific community. We thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more interesting facts about our world and those that are within it.